All right, welcome back to the linked list series by maxcodes.io. In this video, and welcome back to the dev channel, forgot to say that, but in this video, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be learning how to count the nodes in our list because in the last video, we learned how to append to our list. So we're kind of in this spot where we don't really know what's in our list. Like how do we count it? How do we see what's in our list? And the first step in kind of solving this is learning how to count how many nodes are in our list so that we can even see if there are nodes in our list, okay? Once we've written out this little miniature algorithm, we will hop into the next video where we're actually going to learn how to print out our list with a little extension that we're gonna write in the Swift programming language. So again, last video we learned how to append and in this video we're gonna learn how to count our nodes and in the next video we're gonna learn how to print the contents of our linked list, okay? So if you are new to the channel and you haven't watched the previous videos, feel free to check out the series, click on the last video in the series till you get to the first. And yeah, you're gonna learn how to build out a linked list in the Swift programming language. This is the fourth video in the series. And yeah, let's go ahead and jump right into the code. So how do we gonna go about this? Well, we need to introduce another variable into our linked list here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into our linked list code here, and just below the last node, we'll say public var count. This is gonna be of type integer, doesn't need generics because the count will always be an integer, it has nothing to do with the type of our linked list, so we're just gonna say integer and not use generic code there. Next thing we'll do is check to see if we have a head, okay? just like we did when we were looking for the last node, except for we don't want to return nil, right? What do you think we would want to return? Kind of think about that. If we don't have a head, then there's no nodes in the list. So again, pretty obvious, but maybe it's easily overlooked. What do we want to return? We don't want to return nil, we just want to return zero because there's no nodes in the list, which means count is zero. So let's say guard var node is equal to head, and if there is none, so if it fails, just return zero because there's no nodes in the list, there's no head, so return zero, that's the count. But if we do have a head, then instantly we know we have at least one value, so let's declare count as one because if this passes, we have at least one count. Okay, then we just want to kind of iterate over our list again and count by going over each one of these. So while the next is equal to while let next is equal to node.next, then we know we have a value. So if the head has a next value, okay, so if the head has a next value, then we will run this code and reassign node equal to next, and we will iterate count up one. Okay, so the new value of node is this node, and our count is now two because this passed, which means we know we have two nodes in the list. And we went over this in two videos ago, so you should know how this logic works. All we're doing now is incrementing it each time we find a node until we reach the end of the list in which this is gonna crash, or not crash, but break, because there's no more nodes in the list because the last node's next node is nil, okay? So, once it does that, we just want to return the count. Okay, so let's go ahead and scroll down here and say list.count. And I'm gonna say list.count right here as well. And I'm gonna say list.count right here so you can see it as we append items to the list. So right here it should say zero, then it should say one, and then it should say two. So zero, one, and two. Okay, pretty basic stuff. That's how you count nodes inside of a list very basic algorithm within our data structure. And we're now ready to hop into the next video where we're actually going to print out each node in our list as if it were an array. So we'll format it a little bit differently and it's gonna be a cool little algorithm, so to speak, that we're gonna write. And you're gonna learn all about that in the next video. So if you liked this video, please leave a like, please subscribe, and please drop a comment. I'd prefer if you dropped a comment on every video in this series, even if it's just a random comment. I just, I want the engagement. 
so that other people can learn how to build a linked list with us. Okay, and I don't know if that's like against the YouTube rules, but drop a comment. All right, I'll see you in the very next video.